Today's flight on the last Flying VC-10 has been a real privilege. There are so many great stories of its, of its time in the service, and, and let's not forget it was delivered to the 10 Squadron in 1968, and it's been involved in every operation since, be it air transport, air to air refuelling, aeromed, VIP flying, and it's been a great privilege just to be, be able to close the door on that chapter of its history. Um, full of pride, very privileged, and I'm delighted that I've been part of it. Today's been a very special day for our crew because we just arrived here at Bruntingthorpe from the final flight of the VC-10. Um, weather wasn't so great today but it, it didn't stop us getting here eventually and it's a very special but also a very sad day. Um, VC-10 has been flying 51 years now with 47 in military service and we've all got very kind of soft spot in our hearts for her. She, She's not like many modern aircraft, she's kind of got a, a character and a soul to her and so we'll all very much miss her but time's come and uh, time to move on to something new in the Voyager. I first came to, uh, to Bryce Norton uh, in 1990. Uh, I'd just come out of flying training uh, and I've, I've spent my entire flying career on DC-10s uh, and as well as today's last flight for the for uh, the VC-10, it's also my last flight uh, as I'll be uh, moving to, uh, to a desk job. Uh, so, very, very emotional day uh, and uh, a wonderful, wonderful platform. Uh, and, you know, very nostalgic to sort of end your flying career on what is the world record, record holder for uh, Bryce Norton to Perth as well. Quite a unique uh, platform.